also known as Hello 500 on the Bucket, and today we're taking a look at a cool new plugin of mine, and this is called Damage Indicator, and it uses those cool new holograms that were discovered by Asnajuki, and it allows you to create damage indications um, for mobs and players and animals. So it's really, really cool. So let's go ahead and go how um, everything works and uh, give you guys a little bit of an example. So uh, obviously you download it from here in the little download button if uh, once they approve it. Drag that in your plugins folder. Now you're also going to need a second plugin and that is Hollow API. You can get the link right here and there will also be something on the right hand side here. Um, hollow, Hollow API, something like that. I believe it's hologram, so hollow API. Anyway, download that and install that. Just a little heads up, um, hollow API version 1.2.0 actually has a bug when you reload the server, it's going to actually kick the players off with an error. So I am using 1.1.1 right now until they fix that. Anyway, once those are in, you can go ahead and start up your server. Now when you do that, you'll um, wait for it to load up here, but you'll see that we'll get our um, our folders. Obviously the first will be for Hollow API, and the second will be for Damage Indicator. Pretty easy. So for Damage Indicator, we'll just click that, and we'll go ahead and open up the config here. So uh, there's not very many um, config options. However, let me go ahead and show you guys exactly which each one does. So lifetime, this is in ticks, and just so you guys know, there's 20 ticks in a second that the uh, the hologram is going to be alive or visible. Hit something, it'll wait 20 ticks, and then it'll go away, and you can't see it anymore. Um, enable that is uh, you can disable holograms being shown for these type of um, entities. All damage is true. If you want it just to be when something hits something else, um, set it to false. Otherwise, this is going to say, you know, if they take fall damage, lava damage, you know, drowning, etc., it'll tell you. Now, hologram is going to be the layout of the hologram. You guys can use um, the, you know, the color codes, and then you guys can use three or four, actually, other different um, variables when doing it. And for each new line, just go ahead and hit enter and then a new dash. And I left this one blank just for the example, although the plugin will have it by default. Um, it is cause, so um, you can just go ahead and add in the cause of the of the damage. So fall. Um, if it's a player that killed or hurt them, it'll say the player name. If they shot them, it'll be the player's name. Um, say you know, it'll say a mob entity, uh, stuff like that. It'll say you know, lava damage, etc. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave that for now. And um, I like life to be on 15. So we'll go ahead and uh, save it, and I'm going to go ahead and reload the server, and then we can go ahead and join in. Alright, so here I am, and I am on the server. I um, have a little testing platform just to test things off, so we're going to head down oh, head down here, and um, we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to uh, start off with a few mobs. So first one being the creeper. So I'll go ahead and grab a diamond sword here and try to hurt the creeper. You'll see that when I damage him, it's going to give you a little bit of a message. It'll tell you how much health he has left, how much health will it take from him, and who hit him. So it's uh, pretty cool. So that's the creeper example here. Um, let's do the skeleton and the wolf. So if um, this even works for when other mobs hurt other mobs. So say for example I have a wolf here. Come on. There we go. That's my wolf. And I've got a skeleton here. And I'm going to shoot the skeleton. And then once I shoot the skeleton, then my dog will be um, trying to attack the skeleton. So you'll see here we got a skeleton. And I'm going to go ahead and... Ah, uh, don't, don't, don't. Okay, so you guys actually didn't see that there. But um, here, we'll go ahead and grab another one of these here. So for when I shoot a skeleton you'll see it will um, use a shooter. And say a dog were to punch a skeleton. A uh, skeleton is going to shoot the dog, so it'll say skeleton. And if the dog's able to hit the skeleton, let's see if we can get it here. There you go, it'll just say entity because it's an unknown entity that I didn't register. Now one thing I want to mention is you guys might notice these around, and that's a little bit of a pain in the butt, and it really isn't too big of a deal most of the time, but if you do a lot of hitting at one time, you might see it. Um, see, it's not happening now, but if there's a lot of stuff, um, a lot of hitting or really any damage being taken, um, and a lot of them are actually going at the same time, 
you'll see that they'll get those ghost ones here. And that's not actually me. You can actually fix it by relogging here. You'll see now they're not there anymore. So that's just kind of something to keep in mind. You will see those. Um, and there's nothing I can really fix with that. That's just a client's bug. Although I want to um, fix it when I do have a chance. So that's that. Now what about other things such as fall damage, etc.? If I want to hurt myself, I'm actually going to just take the damage and there'll be a scoreboard still because we have that all damage set to true. So take damage, it'll say fall, and it'll say how much damage I took. Now you notice it's a little bit uh, late to update. It's not going to see it yet, but if I were to take damage one more time here, so let's just... See there, it'll actually update it um, the second time. There's another bug. Um, so that's that, and let's uh, do two other types. Uh, the first being drowning. These are just examples, of course, because any type of damage is going to tell you the damage, and it'll tell you the type of damage. So, we'll see here. And like I said, the entire thing is completely customizable, so if you don't want um, certain ones, um, you know, certain things being in there, if you just want the damage, you want to keep it simple, then you can just do that. If you want to do the max health, etc., then you guys can do all that as well. So you'll see here, I'll start taking damage. At least I should. Um... That's interesting. Um, actually, it's not a damage. Actually, yeah, it should be working. I'm not sure why it's not. Um, it might just be an issue with the way I was looking at it or something. I'm not 100% sure. It really should work. Um, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so you can see it's right there. I guess it's just the way I was looking at it. It wasn't working. But that's that, and one other one I want to take a look at is lava, except for I'm going to need regeneration because I'm going to die. So you guys can see here that um, if I place lava down and it burns me, you'll s ah, you guys didn't actually see that. I know I'm trying to kind of be all over the place here, but you'll see if I place lava down and it is able to hurt me, you'll see it'll be fire fire tick because um that's actually what the damages are called all right guys so thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it please leave a like and a comment and check out the plugin in the description box it's really a cool plugin for pvp servers and really any kind of server that you take damage in it's just something kind of cool to um keep up to date on what exactly is happening as far as that all goes so um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later